Madison Reed is all about um, really empowering women to find their uh, badass side, as I call it, uh, not in any disparaging way, but in that inner genius inside of you that you feel unstoppable. There's two types of situations that inspire me. The first is when I see a woman overcome a difficult situation and rise above it and become even better at who she is and what she does as a result. So sort of someone who can overcome challenge, who can overcome hardship and can speak about it openly and honestly, that inspires me greatly. The second thing that inspires me is when I see a woman who is good at what she does and loves what she does. And when you are, when you bear witness to somebody who loves what they do in their life and is very good at it, it's witnessing genius and brilliance. It totally kicks up for me either a scene out of Mad Men or for people more of my age out of Bewitched when there, all these guys are in a conference room talking about what women want and this weird ideal that's been crafted by them of what beauty is. And I don't think that's the case in 2018. I think women want to see diversity. I think women want to see themselves. I think we earned our beauty. So whether that's a wisdom stripe or whether it's a laugh line or whatever, that's who I am. And if you're gonna sell me product that shows me that I can look my best with who I am, that to me is the most important thing. So I hope every guy in every creative agency sort of hears this and takes it to task. As I think back, I honestly don't think the beauty issues ever went away. So my desire to be blonde, blue-eyed, you know, skinnier and bigger breasted continued into my 20s and um, I, this later morphed into an absolute hatred of my nose. <laughs> I actually um, seriously considered a nose job at the age of 29 and I laugh at it now but it wasn't funny at the time. <laughs> so I would say the same thing to Heidi at 29 as I would have said to Heidi at 12 which is Stop trying to look like everybody else. Uh, celebrate your differences. And now I wouldn't dye my hair blonde ever. Sorry, I know I work for a hair color company, but I'm very proud to be brunette and I'm not gonna get a nose job. The possibilities of what women can do and the possibilities of our achievements are not defined by how we look. Every day that I get emails and letters and the color crew, uh, gets that validation and feeling of fixing something for somebody, unleashing their inner beauty, making them feel confident, and then going out and changing their part of the world just makes me feel unstoppable. And I feel like we're just getting started.